Hello guys. So finally I have my little Ebony here who has not had a video in such a long time. So I wanted to change her into something Christmassy today. So first I wanted to put her on just like a little sleeper or something for Christmas. But then I changed my mind and I wanted to try her in this little Christmas dress that I had from last Christmas. And it is all red. And I wasn't sure how she would look in all red. But this is the little dress um, from Lulu's Baby Boutique. And it is all knit and it's red lawn sleeve with the little gathered ruffled sleeve at the end here it has the little clown collar and it's white trimmed with the little red scallop trim on the collar and then it has little like knitted little dots there in white across the bodice so basically it's all red so and it has buttons in the back so I wasn't sure how she would look because she's dark skinned, my little chocolate baby here, chocolate girl. And I was like, how would she look in something, you know, all red? And then I'm going to try these tights on her. I think they will fit her because normally they're newborn size, but normally when you put them on a smaller baby, they like droop around the ankles. So I'm thinking she'll just fill those out. I'm going to change her into another one of her size 3 Huggies diapers here. And what I was noticing that is common, it seems like with me, with my vinyl Reborns, is that I do not change them as often as I do my silicone babies. And no matter how much I tell myself that, when I have vinyl reborns, I'm going to try to keep them on a changing schedule also to change them more often. It never goes like that. <laughs> so that is something I was noticing about my collection with my vinyl reborns. I just don't change them as often. They tend to sit longer in between changing. Um, and even if I change them off camera... Sometimes they will get changed off camera and I'll take pictures of them, but they just don't get changed quite as often as my silicone babies. <laughs> my silicone babies, I don't know. There's definitely a difference in the way that I interact with them. I definitely interact with my silicone babies more. And I don't know if it's because I feel like the silicone babies are just so close to a real baby, much closer to me to a real baby. Um, that is how I, I guess I am kind of treating them. Where I'm interacting with them more, I check on my silicone babies daily. Um, I will not leave them just sitting. Like my vinyl reborns, they are here up here in the nursery. And, you know, I'll look at them, I'll cover them or uncover them according to the weather. But I can leave them wrapped in a blanket up here, my vinyl reborns, for days. And I, I'm right in here painting or whatever. But I can leave them, but not my silicone babies. <laughs> my silicone babies have to be in my bedroom. They're always in my bedroom. Um, I only bring them in the nursery if I'm up here. And I have to, I wrap and unwrap my silicone babies every day. At night, they get wrapped up so they're warm. And then I unwrap them, you know, during the morning when I get up or whatever. During the day, I'll unwrap my silicone babies. And I have to hold them more regular. You know, even if I don't do a video with my silicone babies, they get held pretty regular. You know, so I was just no analyzing myself with my collection and how I sort of do my collection differently. And sometimes I like if I'm in here, I might pick up one of my vinyl reborns if I want to hold them while I'm up here. 
I'll just get that urge. It could be this one I want to hold or my little mica. But I can also leave them for days and not, you know, my vinyl reborns and I won't interact with them. I know they're fine there in the crib or whatever up here or the swing and I'm fine with that. But they can sit longer. That was just something I was noticing about myself. And also, um, I never did tell you guys what other baby left. And it, I don't think I did, but it was my little Charlie, which was Chase by Bonnie Brown. So he's been with his new mommy almost two weeks now, I want to say. Because I sent him off like on... Like, she got him since the 2nd, I believe, of December. So, he is with his new mommy. And his new mommy is Miss Iris Johnson. Her channel is Iris Johnson. And I'm so happy that she's so happy with him. Because <laughs> I really love my little Charlie. And, you know, it makes me feel good when you send off a baby to someone that you really loved. And the person loves the baby when they get it. Like, that just makes it worth all worth the while of parting with him. So, he is with Miss Iris. And she is just enjoying him. So, that was the other baby that left the nursery. Besides, um, my little India. Which was my little, um... Skya, real born Skya. And she's been gone at least over a month. Or at least a month. And who else? My little Emmanuel, which is Phoenix by Andrea R. Cello. He's still here. Um, but he also has a new mommy. But he won't be leaving just yet. But he did get a new mommy. Um, and all three of those babies, you guys, I loved all three of them. Um, that's the hard part when you sell and you love the baby. Like, it's not a reason you're selling them because you didn't love the baby. But as I said, I just feel like when I get too many dolls... And I'm not interacting with all of them regular anyway. Um, I don't like them just sitting, sitting too long without me being able to interact with them. So I, I feel like I should just let some of them go. <laughs> and, and that is what I go through. And also because I didn't expect to bring Gabriel back home. And since he's come back home, it was like... He was what was missing out of my nursery. And I felt so fulfilled and complete when he came back home again <laughs> for his third time coming to me. It made me just want to, um, you know, kind of lighten up the nursery. I felt like I didn't need so many babies. So it looks like because I was missing Gabriel... I began to buy babies and buy babies. And I think it was I, what I was trying to do was fill a void. Because I was missing Gabriel. And I knew I was missing Gabriel for a while. I had been missing him. And so, I, I guess that's why I was just buying babies and buying babies. And I was enjoying the babies I was buying. Um, beautiful babies, you know, but at the same time, I felt like I just, once he got back here, he just filled that void. He was back and him along with my other silicone babies, I truly feel fulfilled. So I was like, okay, I don't need so many, you know, dolls at once. And then, like I said, there's some sculpts or kits that I really love and I want to keep in my nursery or add in that I'll hold on to so I had to kind of let go of some because like I said 
I'm painting more babies. So I just didn't need all of these babies. And I barely really say do regular videos with half of them anyway. And I'm like, I is no way if I add more babies in, like when would I get to like do videos with all of these babies? <laughs> <laughs> because I have four full body silicones currently. And then I have Ebony here, Vinyl Reborn. And definitely she's not going nowhere, this little one. I just love this one right here. <laughs> this little Chubba Wubba. Um, and who else do I have? Micah, he's not going nowhere. So that's two. And then... Um, my Jada, my Gabby girl, she's not going nowhere. That's three. And then I'm adding in, like, I'm painting one that I'll be adding in to keep. And then I started on the next one I'm going to be adding in to keep, which is another chase. So that's why I let go of the other chase. So, and then I have, um... One other kit that I just bought like two weeks ago. I'll be adding that one in to keep. So it's at least three that I'm going to be adding in with the three that I have. So it'll still put me at six vinyl reborns when it's all said and done. If I haven't left out anyone, but I believe it's six. And then my four full body silicone. So that would put me at 10 when I finish painting all of these babies that I'm going to add in. So I think 10 is quite a lot. So me letting go of three, that's, that's not, is really not bad. Because I'm still going to end up with 10 when it's all said and done. These shoes kind of fit her fat ankles funny. But these are the little satin red shoes that I had got last year for Jada. They kind of fit Jada's foot better. But I'll let this little one keep them on for a little bit. That's her little chubby legs in these tights. But because she has like these little bent ankles. Like her, ankle, her foot is coming upwards a little bit. And then this buckles around the um, ankle. is making the shoe fit her foot funny. So, I don't know. I might look for her some different shoes or put socks on her. But the dress is fitting her. It's a six-month size dress. So, there is little Miss Ebony. And Ebony is the Kai kit by Nicole Russell. And I can't remember her artist right now. Off the top of my head, I can't remember it. But anyway, I may put it under the video. But that is her today. That is an update on who left the nursery and like I said, I have a chase that will be coming into the nursery. And then the baby I'm painting, I didn't say who she is yet, but you'll see her soon. I wanted her to be my Christmas baby, but I'm not finished with her yet. So I don't know if she'll be done for Christmas, but nevertheless... Even if I finish her a little after Christmas, she still kind of is my Christmas baby that I'm working on. And I just can't wait, like, wait to finish her. But I'm like, I would say halfway finish her. Like she definitely needs more layers for her to get to the skin tone I'm going for. So she is not finished yet. And then I will share her with you guys. And then eventually I'll root her because I want her to have hair. So, that will be the next baby coming in that I actually will be keeping in my nursery. So, anyway, guys, that is her little changing, her little Christmas dress. I'm going to sit her in the swing in here, I guess, in the mama room. So, that way, when I come in, like, she'll be what I see when I come in. Because I just love this dress. So, we will change maybe Jada next. So, guys, have a nice Friday. A nice weekend and we'll see you again soon and thanks for watching.